Today I want to take you on my journey of my kitchen cabinet transformation. Here's what my dilemma was. I really did not like those dark orange stained outdated look of the oak kitchen cabinets. I did however love the movement of the curves and lines that you see in natural oak wood. I didn't want to hide that but I did want to accentuate it. So I wanted to add light and brightness to the cabinets. I was able to achieve this by whitewashing the cabinets with chalk paint. It took two days. I wanted to give myself time once I was done to live with the new look for a little while. Uh, not too long because I didn't want the cabinets to get dirty and greasy again because you definitely cannot wash them down if you have not sealed them with urethane varnish or whack because it'll just rub right off. So I did live with it for a couple months and I now absolutely love the look. It was very different than anything I had ever lived with before, so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but it just has such uh, a light and airy, kind of a softness to it, so absolutely love it. So my final step will be to seal it with a wax or a urethane, so I'll do that very, very soon. Um, right here, I am showing you in a lot of fast-forwarded video clips. Uh, the process because it was time consuming and it's basically the same for every single cabinet that you do. And then there are also clips where I slow down the process to show you exactly what the hand motions look like when you're rubbing the paint off and just the different steps that you have to take to get the look that you are trying to achieve. There really is no right or wrong with this process. You just you look at it as you go and you take off as much pain as you want to take off or you leave on as much pain as you want to leave on. You want to have several dry lint-free rags or cloths when you're doing this process. I did not wash the rags out as I was doing this. I did not want that extra water in the rag because that would have taken too much of the paint off. So I just kept folding the rag over and over and over and over. And then when it would get too saturated with paint, I would switch to another rag. So I would do one section of cabinetry at a time. And I also chose to do the inside of the cabinet doors as well. I wanted that cohesive look. Same look on the fronts as on the inside of the cabinets when you open the cabinet doors. I wanted it to look like it was meant to be that way, and perhaps that it was installed that way, so that's why I chose to go that route. On the ends of the kitchen island, as well as the ends of the kitchen cabinets, was a piece of laminate. So I didn't know how that was going to accept the chalk paint, but to my surprise, with a lot of patience, and going extra slow in these areas because it's kind of a slippery surface and I did not sand it first. I just cleaned it with the palm olive dish liquid and rinsed it and let it dry. But I was pleasantly surprised how well the chalk paint adhered to that and it still gave me the look that I was going for. So did just have to spend a little extra time and be a little more careful uh, on the end pieces. So here I'm tackling the kitchen island, same process. Um, those um, drawer fronts that you see there, they're not real drawers, they're faux. So I had to work around that. Uh, the hinges on all the cabinets were really old. I did not want to take those off. There was no other color of paint or color period that I wanted them to be. So I decided just to give them the whitewashed look as well. And then it just was easy in the sense that I did not remove any of the cabinet doors and that's why I had honestly not painted my cabinets before now. I have wanted to for about a year and every time I would be in the living room and I'd look in towards the kitchen and I would see those cabinets I just really could not stand the looks of them. So finally one day I just decided I was going to tackle it. I didn't know how it would turn out, but I had high hopes and I, I felt confident that it would turn out pretty much the way that I was hoping. And I'm happy to say that it in fact did. It is um, kind of a, a rustic look, a, maybe a 
touch farmhouse, although I wasn't going for a farmhouse look. I just wanted more of a relaxed, rustic look, and that's exactly the look that I feel like I achieved. It may not be the look for everybody, uh, and I'm sure that it's not, and that's okay. We, we all are different people and have different tastes, but uh, for those of you that do like this look, I sincerely hope that you'll give it a try, maybe on a smaller piece of furniture to see how you like the technique, and that'll be your practice before trying the technique on your kitchen cabinet. I am in love with the outcome of this. Here I am putting the hardware back on cabinet, and here is the nighttime view with everything all complete. Step five, still have to apply the varnish or the polyacrylic to the cabinets. I'll do that very soon. So that will just add to the durability of the cabinets and the finish will last a really, really long time. And here is the final product. I am in love with it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if not already done so, and that notification bell so you don't miss a single Designer Savvy episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.